Yo, what is up guys and welcome to another Wild Rift video. And today I have a video that I've been working on for a whole month, probably even longer. It's a three gameplay video. So you guys are going to witness three games and the last game. Ooh, it's the last game is not necessarily me teaching you how to play Caitlyn, but oh boy. Just to, so the first two games is essentially going to be me teaching you how to play Caitlyn. And the last game is just pure entertainment. That, that's what it is. So first I'm going to explain to you guys how to build Caitlyn. Um, I've become quite a lot better at Caitlyn than before. She's a lot more useful than I initially thought. Um, let's first talk about how to build her though. First off, you go for Glutinous Greaves. This gives you more than enough sustain to easily survive in your lane. So the only way you would die in your lane when you have Glutinous Greaves is uh, when the enemy hard dives you. You know, if, if they go for you uh, from 100% to 0% HP. But you're never going to get outpoked when you go for this item. Next up, Immortal Shield though. Here, you know, you're also building against the dives. Because you're going to get the... Um, the lifeline, when they do dive you, it's very, very good. Next up, Phantom Dancer. Phantom Dancer in combination with the Lethal Tempo is really, really good on, on Caitlyn. Because on Caitlyn, it's honestly all about getting those headshots, right? Like with the second ability, third ability, and the passive. So being able to hit the enemies more, you know, more often, and getting that headshot more often, that headshot is like big, big part of Caitlyn's damage. It's a big part of it, because her actual basic attacks don't really do that much damage, but it's the headshots. Those are the ones that do a lot of damage. Next up, Infinity Edge. Uh, this one I actually almost never built. Next up, you go for Mortal Reminder, and then you go for a Bloodthirster, a possible Guardian Angel, but I love the Bloodthirster. I really, really love the Bloodthirster last item. Um, if you don't need Anti-Heal, you can also build a Lord Domix Regard, and then a Guardian Angel uh, last item. This is also viable. And for the enchantment, you go for Stasis. Stasis or QSS. QSS in some scenarios where you need uh, Anti-CC. Also, QSS, you need to remember it gives you 25% tenacity, so it's quite good. Uh, for the runes, you go Lethal Tempo, again, for the headshots. Here you go for Brutal, because you want to brutalize the enemies in the early game. Here you go for Giant Slayer, because more often than not, you're going to be you're gonna end up having to deal with front lines, even though Caitlyn cannot really do that too well. You're going to do more than enough damage to Squishies, but it's against the front lines that she really struggles against. So having a Giant Slayer, which will give you 14% bonus damage, is really going to help against front lines. Also, you need to remember, all the support items, except for the Spectral Sickle, is also going to give bonus HP to the enemy support, and a lot of items in general just give HP, like the Riftmaker, Leandris, Trinity Force, Black Cleaver, a lot of items give HP, so like Giant Slayer is almost always going to be useful. Here, yet again, Legend Alacrity, it's all about the attack speed. And then here we go for my favorite ward, which is the Zombie Ward. You need to stack this up as fast as you can, and it really allows you to bully the hell out of the enemy. It's very, very powerful. Now for the spells, you go for Exhaust and Flesh. You can also go for Ghost and Flesh, um, but I recommend Exhaust on Caitlyn. But you can go for Ghost if you want to run around a little bit more. So, that's it for the build. Let's now get into the first gameplay. The first gameplay, guys. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, this is a banger. This video is a banger. Because huh, it was so hard to choose for me which one to make a video of. So, I was like, screw it. I'm just going to use all three. You know what I mean? Why wouldn't I? So, first off, I am doing a skin giveaway this month. All you have to do to enter is put down a comment under the video. Right here, as you can see, we prepared for them to come. Um... And yeah, we didn't win unfortunately, because unfortunately, close combat Leona is gonna win since she is a melee champion. Uh, and Kaisa is also quite strong. However, this is the strongest way to start off as a Caitlyn in the early game. It's just sadly that Nami is not very strong at level 1, otherwise we would have destroyed them. You essentially can shoot your first ability through the enemy, you can hit them while you're in the bush. You need to remember, when you're in the bush, you're gonna stack up headshots two times faster. Very, very important early on in the game especially. So stand in the bush, hit the enemy, and you'll stack up those headshots really, really fast and do a lot of damage. But sadly, again, we didn't win this particular scenario because the Leona is a melee champion. She's gonna win in a melee situation where she can basic attack my Nami. So in the laning phase, you can kind of bully the enemy just like this. You shoot your first ability. You can shoot it on the minions to hit it a little bit easier. But if you're a Giga Chat, you don't have to hit minions. You can also shoot it in their face immediately. But it's significantly harder to hit it that way. You need to remember that. 
Um, right here you can see I'm, I'm actually shoving the wave, sort of shoving the wave, because I want to help my Pantheon. Normally I wouldn't really shove too often on Caitlyn, because freezing is pretty good. You can really bully the enemies when they try to go for minions. But right here I'm pushing, because I want to potentially help the Pantheon. But also, to be fair, Kai'Sa is low, so it gives me a free turret plate right here. So it's fine. Even though I'm letting her farm, it's fine, because I got a turret plate. So it's, it's totally worth shoving the wave under the turret. So that's why in this situation I'm not freezing. Because also if I freeze, I can let her go back. So that's why I'm like I'm really really putting the pressure on them right here, you can see. Right here I'm probably gonna hit the turret again. Because why the hell not, you know what I mean? Also, I'm gonna teach you a little trick. This is a very very important trick for you when you wanna master Caitlyn. So how do you deal with a champion like Lee Sin? Okay, Lee Sin used his first ability on you. He's about to dash on you. What do you do? Now the easy answer that you guys are probably thinking about is use your third ability. And while using your third ability can be useful, you want to save your third ability to escape, right? Why would you use your third ability in that situation? You can use your second ability, guys. You can literally put down your second ability on the ground. Let's say Lee Sin hits you with this first ability. Le okay, the microphone, the microphone. Stand still. Wait, let, let, let me explain to you what I mean. Ah, it's not working. How do, I, how, do, how do I explain this to you guys? Um, so you have a Caitlyn trap right here. Okay? My uh, my head is the Lee Sin. This is Caitlyn. If the Lee Sin used his first ability on the Caitlyn, you know, he's gonna dash to the Caitlyn. But if there is a trap in the middle, he's gonna get caught in the trap. So Lee Sin won't be able to dash to you. And you have to dance around the trap. If the Lee Sin tries to avoid the trap to the left, you go to the right. So you keep that line between you and the trap. Look at that damage that I'm doing right here, by the way. But that's how you can... Oh, that's how you can avoid and engage from like a Lee Sin, from a Leona. You know, you're going to stop a Leona as well. From, a, from anything, from a Graves, anything that has sort of a dash that's not a blink, you can easily stop it by just walking around your trap. Like, put it down preemptively, and whenever they want to engage on you, stand on your top. Kha'Zix too, Kha'Zix too. Kha'Zix cannot jump on you if there's a trap. He literally gets caught in the trap. So, like, these are a few things that you really need to think about when you play Caitlyn. Caitlyn is not just a basic attack type of champion. She's a lot more complicated than that. She has the third ability that can also outplay a lot of different enemies. If an enemy tries to hook you, you use your third ability to go back. Like, for example, if a Thresh wants to step up to you, you can use your third ability, hit the net on the Thresh, use your first ability, empowered basic attack, and dodge his hook. You will completely outtrade him. Completely. So there's a lot of different things you need to do with Caitlyn, especially in team fights. She's very, very hard to play, I would say. And also about the traps, you need to put down good traps. And I would say about this, um, one good tip that I have for you guys about putting down traps is you kind of want to put them at the end of the bushes. Like the moment, like right here. Exactly. Yes. This is a good trap. You see, this is exactly where you want to put the traps. Because if I put it here or in the middle of the bush, the enemy may enter the bush, see the trap, walk around it. But if you put it at the entry... Oh, he should be dead. Yeah, he's dead. If you put it at the entry of the bush, the enemies will not see it. They'll go... For, like, they'll not see it. They'll walk into it. Now, let me give you another piece of advice on how to hit your second ability on Caitlyn. This is not about outplaying the enemy. This is about playing with your team. So, when your team has quite long CC, like Pantheon second ability, Nami bubble, anything like that, you can literally auto-aim your second ability on the enemy. Auto-aim it. But you have to be fast. You have to auto-aim it instantly. Because while they're stunned or rooted or anything like that, obviously they cannot move. So you put on your second ability, and the time that it takes to charge, which is like one second, Right after the stun of your Pantheon ran out, for example, they're also going to get rooted by your trap. And that way you can secure kills very, very easily. And these are all like sort of advanced things you need to do well when you play Caitlyn. You need to do them well. Because this is what brings your Caitlyn to the next level. Right here, using my range to avoid the Leona and just simply take a turret for free. Very nice and easy. Very nice and easy turret. Although the enemy Nasus may become problematic because... Um, 
He'll be very hard for me to kill. I told you try hard now? Wait, who was I playing with? Who is this? Wait, what? Who is this? I don't remember who this was. Wait, what? Who was I playing with? Who is this person? So right here, third ability. We, I'm putting down traps to keep the Kai'Sa away as well. And now I stacked up my lethal tempo, guys. I stacked it up. I'm gonna go hardcore on them. Because the lethal... There you go. You see? This is what happens. And the headshot. As you can see, the headshot does like three times more damage than the normal basic attack. It's crazy. It really does significantly more damage. Right here was a perfect example of how lethal tempo can be absolutely lethal to the enemy. You have to stack it up six times. And then you get that big attack speed. Big, big, big big huge attack speed and then you can just go ham on the enemies like you'll just demolish them this guy has a first strike which is absolutely giga troll very very bad rune for guys now i got my phantom dancer as well now you can imagine how fast my attacks are about to get with the phantom dancer and the lethal tempo and the legend alacrity you know this is like you're really gonna attack fast you need to keep in mind though when you have this build, sure you attack fast, but you're gonna struggle taking down front lines. You, the only way you can really do a lot of damage to front lines is with the headshots. They only really take good damage from the headshots. Your normal attacks are only gonna tickle them. So you need to keep that in mind when you're playing the game as a Caitlyn. Only in the late game, you'll do a little bit more when you have like a Mortal Reminder or something like that. I actually misclicked my third ability there. I wanted to dash towards the tw Twisted Fate to kill him, but unfortunately, I just misclicked it. Oh, by the way, guys, if you're enjoying the video, make sure you give it a like. It really supports the channel a lot when you give it a like. Also, subscribe. I still see... Apparently, the majority of my viewers are not subscribed. How is that possible? I have 124,000 subscribers. How are the majority of my viewers right now not subscribed? I actually don't understand that, but hey... If you want to subscribe click on the subscribe button i don't have gel in my hair and i hate i hate it when my hair goes like this because i can literally see my hair above my eyes so i keep having to do this to keep it maintained right here look at what i'm doing kaisa or everyone is top lane my team is dying to them i don't really care i'm just getting a free turret i could even i could push another wave but it seems like it seems like someone may be coming, so I'm just gonna go back. It's fine, it's fine. What is that macro? Yeah, we were talking about our teammates. The teammates were really not good. They didn't really understand what to do around the map. Because they were dying to them for no reason. I was getting a free turret, but they were engaging on them for some reason. But it's fine. Ooh, he has zombie ward. He also has zombie ward. I'm pretty sure zombie ward is going to become more and more popular because people will find out that it's incredibly powerful. I keep telling you guys, zombie ward is insanely broken as a rune. It's so, so, so good. Look, do you see that headshot damage? Headshot does huge, huge damage on tanks. Because, like, headshots are very easy to hit on the tanks because you just put traps down on top of them and you use your third ability when they engage on you. Like, you use your third ability when they engage on you, and you hit them easily. Like, you see, hitting, killing this Nasus is very, very hard for me. But the headshots is what's doing stuff. Is doing work. However, of course, I'm going to hit them regardless. Because I'm stacking up my lethal tempo right here. You see? I've stacked up my lethal tempo. And, yep, easy kill on the Leona. Even though she's a tank, I was able to kill her. Graves is in the top side. Should be just a really fast dragon right here. We should actually just straight up rush the dragon. Yep, there we go. Because Graves is never going to make it if we rush it. Yep. Easy dragon. By the way, hopefully I streamed as well today. This is a, this is a lot of work to do for this video. But I, I'll, I'll upload this video after the stream as well. You guys are going to have a ton of content today. Oh my god. Right here, I'm trying to stop him in his tracks. I'm not afraid of him. Look, I'm not afraid. I exhaust him. Easy. Easy kill. I don't even need to ult him. I flashed to him. Uh, I could have ulted him, but I really wanted to make sure I get that kill because he had a 700 gold shutdown. So I just chose to flash to him. I could have ulted him, but again, like maybe someone would have body blocked, you know what I mean? So I just chose to flash to just make sure I kill him. I really wanted that bounty. 
So I went for Mortal Reminder 3rd, because they are very tanky. They have a Graves, they have a Leona, they have a Nasus. They're very tanky champions. So going Infinity Edge 3rd item against those champions would be, would be super bad. So that's why I'm going for armor penetration, so at least I can do something against them. You can also go for the for the energized build on Caitlyn. Remember the energized Tristana video that I made? Uh, you can go for a similar build like that, where you build Storm Razor, Static Shift, Rapid Fire Cannon. But I, you should only build this against a full squishy composition. If they even have one tank, don't build it. But if, like for example, they have a Darius frontline and everyone else is like one-shot champions, you can go for that build and really surprise them with the burst damage. Like you'll really, really surprise them. Okay, she's engaging. I'm gonna use this to stack up my lethal tempo again. Like I like to use frontlines to stack up my lethal tempo, which I did right here. Ooh, I died. I kind of wasted my third ability right here. I should have tried to save my third ability a bit more. Like this is what I mean. This is why you need to play around your traps so you don't have to use your third ability immediately to escape. If you keep play around your traps, you don't have to run away. Then you know you can save your third ability for the last moment and run away with that. You see, I actually died because of that. I died because I didn't save my third ability and now I give them a shutdown. Kaisa, I gave Kaisa a shutdown, which is the most broken champion in the game. And she got a quadra kill. Kaisa has more gold than me. And we're losing the game right now. We're losing the game. We're straight up losing the game. And Kaisa is way stronger than Caitlyn. So she can carry the game much more easily. I'm taking these wards because I have zombie wards. I haven't stacked it up yet. So I'm taking them right here. This is very nice. There we go. Now we stacked up the zombie ward. And now we're, we have a lot more damage. It's like having a half, half of an item extra. It's crazy. Yeah, this was not this was really not a good team, what can I say? I need to be extremely careful. Kaisa can simply ult me and kill me. So I just flashed, yeah. I sc ah yeah. Yeah. Damn. Come on, at least killed Nasus, guys. No way. No way they didn't even kill the Nasus. Oh my god. I can try to hit him with my first ability, but man, this Kaisa is Oh there we go. Nice, great flank by the Pantheon. I was baiting them in, and Pantheon just engaged perfectly right there. Beautiful, beautiful engage. Yeah, we got this. Boom, easy kill. I can ult him if I need to. Nice. Actually, Pantheon played that extremely well. Pantheon really, really played well. Because if we kill Kai'Sa, we'll roll over everyone. Because Kai'Sa is my only problem. If Kai'Sa is dead, I can kill them all. Like, I'll do enough damage to just kill them all. But of course, killing the Kaisa is where the problem is at. But we can one-shot her like that. You know, when the Pantheon engages like that, that can work. I don't think they can even win a 2v1 against the Nasus, to be honest. But 3, 3v1, yes. But 2v1, I don't think Fizz and Nami can win against Nasus. There's no way. That's the third dragon, though. We should actually try to get that third dragon. Because uh, then we probably win the game. I don't, I'm don't. i saying probably because they do have a Kai'Sa, which is of course the most broken champion in the game. So it's never really won against a Kai'Sa. But we need to try to rush it. We need to try to do something. Like right here you can see I am trying to rush it. Like right here you can see I really want to rush it. I'm going to ignore the fight probably and just really try to get this dragon. Yeah, there you go. Meanwhile Kai'Sa got a double kill though. Oh, I cannot die here. If I die, we lose the game. <sighs> oh my god. I'm so much damage. I have so much damage. It's crazy the amount of damage I have. Because now I took the third dragon, guys. Now now I'm stronger than Kaisa. I'm actually stronger than Kaisa. She's 1 HP. Like, I nearly one-shot her. Like, basically nearly one-shot her. What am I getting that? Yeah, Guardian Angel. So this game, as you can see, no Collector, because it's not necessary. I don't really like Collector. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He can't kill me, can he? I can just put down traps and walk around my trap. Yeah, there you go. You see? This is what I mean. You can walk around your traps. He can't run away because there's a trap. Easy. You see? This is literally what I mean. You can dance around your traps and you can really surprise the enemies. Because they, they'll think you're an easy kill because you're a Caitlyn. But you put down the traps and they just can't reach you. The melee champions cannot reach you guys. 
Oof, that damage. Oof, oof, oof. Kaisa still. Ooh. And of course, when you want to do an objective like this, you can just close the door to them. Ooh. Oh my god. My Pantheon died, which is a big problem. That's our only front line. No, Fizz is probably dead. Yep. Oh man, this game is crazy. We, like, no one can face check. Oh, that's Lethal Tempo. Nice. She was heavily underestimating my damage. Oi, oi, oi. Come on, there we go. Ah, uh, now I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I need to stasis her. I'm dead. Oh my god. Akshan, yeah, he's just gonna die. You know what? Pantheon can maybe defend this. He can still one shot the Kaisa. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. <gasps> oh, let's go. He killed her. Oh, that's huge. Can Nasus kill Pantheon? I think yes. Oh my god, Fizz got him, Fizz got him, Pantheon bait him. This Pantheon is actually smurfing. I do want to say, like, I don't really like how Wildrift is right now, but like, so many champions are just broken. It's really turning the game into like a Mobile Legends type of game where you can carry on almost anything rather than having to having it be a team game. I don't really like that too much, not gonna lie. Like, you know, Evelyn is broken right now. Twitch is broken right now. Kaisa is broken right now. Pantheon is broken right now. Kha'Zix is broken right now. Soraka is broken. Yumi is broken. Lulu is broken. Like, all of these champions are just beyond broken. It's just so dumb. Vladimir, Vladimir, not really. Nah, Vladimir, not really. But, like, so many champions are just so dumb right now and just broken, and you'll see them every game. Like all of them need to get nerfed, but I feel like Riot wants to make everything broken like this. Slowly, but st Lee Sin is also kind of broken, but Lee Sin is a different story, because Lee Sin sucks late game. But I feel like Riot wants to make everyone like this, so it feels more easy, the game. Rather than having it be team, team fighting. Like, everything can one-shot everything. It's just so stupid. So, so stupid. Giving the Nami the blue buff here. Being a nice teammate. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, I got her! I got her there! Now it's over! Sh Wait, is it? Wait. We have Elder, come on! Okay, I'm destroying them. Okay, I'm destroying them right now. I killed the Kaisa. I can just ult him, is he dead? Yep, he's dead. Yeah, now we won the game. Now we've won the game. Oh, that Kaisa catch was clutch. Because, like, you only need to kill the Kaisa and you just win the game. It's game over. Let's kill the Leona. Yeah, let's end the game. Wait, what is this? Oh, I ran out of storage here. I remember that. So that's the first game. Let me find the second game. Oh my god, there's so many games. Um, where was it? I believe it's here. This is the last game that I'm going to show you guys. This was the game that you just saw. And this is the... No, this is the last game. Sorry, this is the last game that you guys are going to see. This is the second game. Yes, this is the second game. Let me make it bigger for you guys. Boom, boom. That's too big. That's what she said. Alright, there we go. So yet again against the Kaisa. And honestly, I kinda like playing Caitlyn into Kaisa. Even though Kaisa still destroys Caitlyn late game, Kai uh, Caitlyn can win against Kaisa early game. Pretty easily. Like pretty easily. I'm playing with keys in this game, by the way. You guys love keys. Um Caitlyn can really bully a Kaisa. And you can play Caitlyn with an enchanter. Who did I have last game in my team? What was my support last game? How do I, I don't remember. But basically, you can play Caitlyn with an enchanter. Uh, I hit the enemy there. 
So like you can play Caitlyn with a Karma, with a Lulu, with a Yumi, with everything, but you can also play Caitlyn with an Engager, like an Alistar, like a Leona, that works too. Oh, I had a Nami last game, so that was an Enchanter, and it works, you know what I mean, like it works. But your playstyle differs when you have an Engager like this. When you have an Enchanter, your basic attacks are stronger because you have the Enchanter. They're enchanting you, they're buffing you. When you have an Engager, your basic attacks are not going to be that strong. Because Leona is not going to buff my attacks. But with an Engager, you have more potential with your traps and all-in Engages. So like when Leona goes in and stuns them, I can put down my traps on the enemy and get additional roots and additional headshots. So that's the, the, a bit of a difference. Really not sure what this Jarvan is doing. Really, really, really not sure about that. But... No idea what he was doing. I just, I just let out a massive fart, by the way. I hope you guys heard that, because I'm super proud of that one. Oh my god, that was so good. Ah, I tried to bully them here. See, like, this is the thing. Without an enchanter, you're not going to be able to bully the enemies as much. However, your all-ins are huge. It's really all about the all-ins that are very big. So, like, you can clearly see the atmosphere is a lot different in this particular game. I'm still trying to poke them with occasional basic attacks. Because you need to remember, Caitlyn has, like, one of the longest ranges in the game. So, you can just always just step up. Ah, zombie ward. Ah. He didn't give me the ward. That's very sad, actually. That's actually very sad. Like, you really need to communicate with your support that you have a zombie ward. I did communicate, but I think he just forgot. Or he doesn't care. That could also be possible. Because stacking up that zombie ward as fast as possible is huge. Like, the last stack gives you 12 attack damage. That's a good gank from Keys, but he's gonna die to the jacks, unfortunately. Damn. I'm just putting that down. I, I use the pink ward to uh, reveal enemy yellow wards to stack up my zombie ward. But sometimes I just put it in that bush just to have a little bit more visibility in my lane. And there you can see it's the same spot that I'm using my trap. This is a big tip I have for you guys for the trap. Like I'm going to say it again. You want to put it at the end of the bushes. At the entry of the bushes. That's where you want to put it. So right here let's see if Keys wants to ult someone or something. If you ult someone all in, like, we go hardcore. You need to make sure you use your first ability as well. It does huge damage, that first ability. Mm, like this. First ability. Yeah, but she ran away. She ran away. And there you can see. You see, I hit the jacks. But unfortunately, the jacks stunned all of us. Now Jarvan does his all in, which is perhaps a little bit late. But it's fine. It's actually really not fine. But you always have to say it's fine and be positive. I can't wait to have a meal after this video, by the way. I always get very hungry when I make videos. I don't know why. Like, when I'm streaming, I don't necessarily get very hungry. But when I make YouTube videos, I get hungry. I don't know why. Always before the videos, I'm not hungry. And then after the video, I'm like super hungry. And when I make these longer videos, I start getting hungry during the video. I want to pressure them here. I want to go hard on them here. So normally, you 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 know, you kind of want to freeze the lane. But I could also pressure them right here. Let's see. What was my actual plan? Because it seems like I'm not actually pressuring them. This trap is also not good. Maybe I was mad. I think I was tilted here. Looks like, looks like tilted play. Because I'm not really thinking too much through what I'm doing. So am I going to apply pressure on them here? Yeah, I am. I'm kind of applying pressure. It's like, it's fine. This is worth it for me because I'm getting them low. Ah, he thought I wasn't close. Like, I'm really bullying them, even in a 1v2. Yeah, Jarvan wants to do Dragon. I'm going to shove the wave, make them lose farm and rotate to my team. Like, I'm helping them and I'm forcing the enemy to stay under turret. So it should just be a free Dragon right now. Should be a free Dragon. There you go. Ooh, I need to exhaust him. Boom, boom. I escaped. Come on. Nice. 
Very nice. I survived the Zet ultimate by flashing away from him. That was huge. That was huge. We got the dragon. We didn't give them Herald. That was massive. I had... A, and the exhaust is very powerful. This is why I like exhaust on Caitlyn. Because in case someone does jump on you, um, you can just exhaust them. Like, if, if the Kai'Sa ults me, I exhaust her. If the Jax jumps on me and stuns me, I exhaust him. If the Gragas jumps on me, exhaust. It's super easy. And then likely you're going to survive that, that initial engage from the enemy. Here, I should be bullying the Kai'Sa. I can freeze here. Yeah, there you go. Finally, I'm using my head to think instead of my ass. I can bully her very, very easily. Make her lose farm. I, I should have body blocked that second ability, by the way. It's the small things that matter. If I body blocked it, she would have just straight up lost 40 gold and a lot of experience. But I didn't think about it in the game. Like all of these small things you need to think about. And it really adds up. The small things really, really add up to a massive advantage that you get. We're 6 minutes and 20, six minutes, 20 seconds in the game, which means turret plates are still alive. I'm just getting some free turret plates right here. I just secured two turret plates. Ooh, I tried to bully her here. I, look at how much damage your first ability does, by the way. If you hit it head on onto the enemy, it does huge damage. If you hit it via a minion or another enemy, it only does 40% damage. It's significantly less. I could possibly kill the Kai'Sa here. If I hit her with... If that hit, oh, she would have been dead. But I'm just getting turret plates. I'm, I'm fine taking turret plates, you know what I mean? Like, you can really bully enemy ADC. You can really bully any ADC. Even a Draven you can bully. Like, literally even a Draven you can bully like that. Caitlyn also counters Draven for... For that reason. Oof, where the hell did he come from? Sadly, I didn't get the first turret. Ah, oh, I was kinda close at getting the first turret, but it is what it is. I'm just ulting the jacks. There we go. Huge kill right there. I have two choices. I can... Ah, he took my ward. It's so sad when teammate... Ooh, big Leona ult right there. It's so sad when teammates don't really know about the zombie ward. Because, like, you know, I, I've already missed two, min two wards. So I'm really delaying my zombie ward a lot because of that. I'm losing damage. Like, I'm literally losing damage. I'm securing a free turret. And now I go back. I don't really have many items uh, yet. So I really have to go back and just buy myself some items. Yeah, and Phantom, da Phantom Dancer, I always go second, by the way. It's such a good item on Caitlyn to go Phantom Dancer. I pretty much every game I build it, I build it second. Every game. I need to get a Stasis this game, because they have so many engages. They have a Jax, they have a Zed. With oh, look at that, oh my god. Small little tip against Zed. Put down your traps on his shadows. So whenever he uses a shadow, he instantly shadows into your traps. I know this is quite hard, but you have to do it really fast. So whenever he uses a shadow, he'll instantly go into your trap. This is especially useful when he ults like someone else in your team. You put, just put a trap on his shadow. I should be fine. Exhaust? Okay, he ulted, so it's fine for me. You gotta be careful. If Wow, he's strong, man. I'm gonna ult him. Boom. Very nice. That was I, I combined that with the stun from Leona. Because I knew he would be stunned and wouldn't be able to run after his ally. And we actually got that kill with the, with the Caitlyn ult. Caitlyn ult also does huge damage to tanks if they're low HP. You need to remember that. Because Caitlyn's ultimate does a base amount of damage. Plus 20% of the missing health of the enemy physical damage so even if they have like a million health if they're missing a lot of health you'll do huge damage huge huge damage i i, I don't think he can kill a kaisa yep kaisa counters volibear for that reason volibear just cannot case a kaisa cannot chase a kaisa come on come on ah, of course he doesn't get it damn it it's fine but damn it sucks uh, I'm not tired, baby. Uh, I'm not tired, but why am I doing that? I'm just hungry. 
I'm, I still don't have my zombie ward, by the way. Literally, I still don't have it fully maxed. I still need to take more wards. That's why I'm telling you guys, like, it's so important to communicate with your team that you have a zombie ward, so they give you the wards. You know what I mean? Like, they really have to give you the wards, so you can stack up that zombie ward fast and get that big, big zombie ward power spike. Because it is actually big. The power spike is quite big of zombie ward. Bro, why is this Volibar talking so much? Oh my god, like, bro, just play the game. Like, well, free lose. Why you do this? Why you do that? Blah, blah, blah. Like, bro, shut up. Shut the hell up. It's so annoying. What, like, what are you, who are you even talking to? No one is replying to him. No one even cares. No one is saying anything. He's just typing to himself. And he's only crying in the chat. Stop crying in the chat. Just try to win the game. Oh, I remember that Kaisa terrorized us here. Look at this. Boom, she hit me. Ah, she hit the jungle and the jungle is gonna hit the Jarvan. Like, the Kaisa was terrorizing us right there. Now we can finally go back. Oh my god. Ah, uh, Volibar is gonna die again, isn't he? He's gonna get Zet ulted. Yep, he's gonna die. Oh my god, he dies right before the Baron, and then he, he like he complains to the Fizz, as if Fizz had anything to do with his death. So in preparation to this Baron, I need to put down some traps, so just just kind of around the fighting field. I still don't have Zombie Ward, by the way. Like still haven't finished the the item. I'm closing in Jax right here. He cannot run away through this way. Ooh, beautiful, Le beautiful, beautiful Leona ultimate. That one was huge. If he didn't do that, Gragas would have one-shot me, guaranteed. I can simply stasis him. So that's stasis. Easy peasy stasis. I can ult the Z. Easy peasy kill. Very, very easy. I got a 1000 gold shutdown. Although I did get destroyed by the Jax. But I got a 1000 gold shutdown from the, from the, from the Z. Which is huge, of course. That was actually a good Volibear engage. He, he followed up beautifully after the Leona engage. And because of that, he was able to get the kill on the Kai'Sa. Now, I'm not sure if he wins against the Jax. Oh, if Leona gets a stun like that, then yes, he does win. Wow. And Kees is smurfing though on that Leona, not gonna lie. Ooh. Like, sometimes I make these videos and then at the very end, I realize the microphone isn't working. But for now, it's working. But like... Can you guys imagine the feeling? And this is what I have sometimes. Like you finally finished a banger video. You watched the gameplay and you did. You said all your things that you wanted to say. You told like a banger story that happened in your life. Everything of that. And then just to upload the video and then to, you know, rewatch it to look for the timestamps for the build and gameplay because that's what I always do. And then you don't hear anything and you realize your microphone wasn't turned on. Oh my God. There's actually no worse feeling than that actually no worse feeling because it's not it's not necessarily the, not, the annoying thing is not necessarily that i have to remake the video i don't really care too much about that like sure i'll just remake it it only costs like 30 to an, 30 minutes to an hour the problem is like the authenticity of the video goes away because then i know exactly what happened in the games because like i'm watching this now but i played this game like a month ago or something i think i don't know i played this game really long ago so i have no idea what is happening like i actually don't remember at all what happened i only remember it vaguely so i am watching i'm not of course i'm not watching it for the first time but i'm watching it and i'm reactive to it as well and i i want to make videos like that I, I prefer videos like that a lot more than if i know exactly what's happening Ah, oh, there goes my wart again. There goes my wart again. Oh, he jumped in my trap. I can ult the Jax here. Huge ult. I killed the Jax. The ultimates are really on point, not gonna lie. Like, this game, the ultimates are on point. Did he get it? Oh, he got the dragon. Nice. He actually, the Volibear got the dragon. It was at 5 HP and he was able to get it. That was nice. Am I gonna go for collector this game? Now this game I could go collector. See the difference of this game and last game is last game I had an enchanter. And last game they had big front lines. 
This game, however, they don't really have too many frontlines. And even so, their frontlines are not that tanky. They have a Jax. Jax is not... Oh, oh, oh. She's disrespecting me. She's disrespecting me and I did huge damage to her. I could have possibly killed her, actually. I could have possibly killed her, but I don't have a collector yet, so it's a little bit hard. They're disrespecting me. They're disrespecting my damage and they... they... Oh, I knew she was in that bush. I literally knew... I, like, intuitively, I knew she was in that bush. So I just sim I without seeing her, I used my third ability in the bush, and because of that, I won the fight, and I killed Kaisa. Stasis, come on. Flash over the wall now. Nice. And now I can ult, just to help them out even more. Okay, Gragas. Okay. Okay. Okay, he's showing everyone who the big daddy Gragas is, huh? <laughs> wow, he just blink threw his ultimate on my face. <laughs> oh my god, this Gragas is getting strong. Ooh, it's a good Leona ult. It's a good stasis as well, wow. Yeah, they couldn't get that kill. If they went for that kill, all of them would have died to Gragas. That would have been tragic. I still have a huge bicep pump, by the way. I know my biceps are not that big, but I did like a I did a new kind of workout, yeah, uh, two, three days ago, which was like normally when you do sets, you just work out and then you take a minute break, you do another one, minute break, another one. What I did was 25 minutes of like full hardcore workouts. I only took like 10 sec 10 to 20 second breaks between each workout, and I just kept going 25 long minutes. Like it feels like. It feels like I have massive tears in my biceps. It hurts so much. Um, but it's good. That's how growth happens of your muscles, right? But it really, really hurts a lot. Even three days after the workout. Or two days. Two, day two days, yeah. Two days after the workout. Yeah, so I'm getting a collector now. Because my ultimate will be significantly stronger with the collector. And, of course, whenever they're low HP, my first ability will collect them. My headshots, everything will collect them. It's very, very nice. But I, as I said, I especially love it uh, <clears throat> when I ult. Because the, ja the Jax, for example, when he uses his ultimate and his third ability, he may be able to tank my ultimates because he really reduces damage a lot with that. But with the Collector, he's never going to survive if he's low HP. Never. I, all I have to do is get him to 5% HP and the Collector just collects him. Huge damage, by the way. Look at how much damage I'm doing. Okay, I stacked up my lethal tempo. Collected as well. Oh my god. What a damage. The Karma and the Kaisa both just destroyed me. Ah, she just broke my lifeline, man. That actually sucks. Now I don't have a lifeline. Kaisa is just such a broken champion, dude. The fact that she can do that is just disgusting. I like that you can play Kaisa like this, but they need to nerf it in a way that is just not beyond broken anymore. Just nerf it a little bit, like reduce the damage on some on, on her passive, on her first ability. Just make the cooldown longer, just do something so it becomes... Like, like Vladimir, the change they did to Vladimir, he's still extremely powerful. But he's not beyond broken anymore. Because they nerfed him, that, that was a good nerf. Why are they not doing it to Kaisa? I know Kaisa is one of the most fun ADCs to play and one of the most satisfying, but it's just stupid. It takes it really makes it a brain dead game to play, to be honest. Also, you can stack up your essence uh, not as Phantom Dancer on the minions, on the jungle camps, on the dragon and stuff like that before fighting. I really need to maintain a good distance. It's a good engage from the Jarvan and a great, huge, huge engage from Keys on that Leona. He had a five man ultimate. Five man ultimate, right? Was that a five man ultimate? We kill all of them. We can end. I think Keys on the Leona got a five man ultimate right there. Like, I just, I just wiped them off. Like, I didn't have to do anything. I simply just clicked on my attack button and what a huge engage, Jarvan as well, Volibear following up, my whole team just did an insane, insane engage, wow, 
And now I have the last game for you guys, by the way. And this is the craziest one. I saved the best one for the last. Save the best for the last. Let's take a look at how much damage I did and everything like that before we move on. Let's see. Jarvan got the MVP, interesting. Okay. So Caitlyn doesn't always do that much damage. So let me take a look at the third gameplay. Uh, not April, what the hell. Um, 25 minute one. Or this one, I think it's this one. No. The one with Pike. There we go, this one. Yeah, this one. Again against Akaisa, actually. Like, what can I say? It's just such a stupid ADC. So broken. Let me make the screen correct for you guys. Come on. So, so, so broken. Kaisa. Everyone keeps picking her. So this game, I think I got, I think I lost my lane. And in this game, you can kind of see how you can play Caitlyn and try to be sort of useful even when you lose your lane. Um, I don't remember much from this game. I only remember this was like a long, long game. Like, a, as I said, like a 25 minute banger game. So, of course, it's just entertainment. Sometimes, you know, we can also upload videos for entertainment. Oh, basically already lost my lane. Yeah, I, I literally, literally already lost my lane. Ah, 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 ay, ay, yeah, that was my fault. Well, he was actually, you know what? That was not only my fault. I had a point here. I told him, why are you, why were you AFK? It was my fault. Don't get me wrong. I got caught. I got caught. It was my fault. But he was just standing AFK behind the turret as well. Now, I don't know why. Because if he wasn't AFK, the moment I got caught, we could have just collapsed on them and actually traded kills. But because he was AFK, uh, yeah, he says I was AFK for three seconds. But like, of course, I got caught. Like, I'm not saying it was my mistake, right? Like, this was my fault. I made the mistake. I'm not trying to put the blame on him. But if he was here, and now we're in huge trouble, by the way. But if he was with me, uh, we would have just traded a kill and it would have been fine. But it was my mistake. Again, I want to emphasize that it was my fault. Now we are in huge trouble. Like, we are in big, big trouble. Mm, I got caught again. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. See, like now, now this is a problem. I'm so behind that right now I cannot utilize Caitlyn's early game to win our lane anymore. And so let's see what I can do in this game. Again, I cannot use the Caitlyn early game anymore. How the hell do you play a game like this, right? Like, how the hell are you supposed to do? Um, the answer is you're screwed. You're, you're like, you're truly screwed. What can you even do? Like, Caitlyn is not even a champion that farms up and carries late game. It's not really the type of champion that's gonna do that. Because if you get destroyed as an Ezreal, you farm up to late game. If you get destroyed as a Kai'Sa, you simply farm up to the late game. You know what I mean? Like, all these ADCs, you can farm up to the late game to still have a potential to carry the game. Look at how little damage I'm doing. I shouldn't take this, because my wave is gonna collapse under my turret. I realized that here as well, and I'm going back to my wave. Damn. I was taking the big fat brown guy in case they would freeze. So at least I would be able to get some farm. That's why I took it. Yeah, we're in big trouble now. We're in huge, huge, huge trouble. I'm gonna shove the wave probably. And then go back. Try to get some items to be at least somewhat useful in lane. Yeah. So I can go back here. Damn, man. Games like these happen as well. What can I say? Games like these happen as well. Is the mic good enough? Yeah, it's picking up my voice perfectly. Oof. Yep, I knew three. I knew it. I knew they were coming to them. I knew it. Yeah, this is just so unfortunate. We're just we're, we're getting destroyed. Like we're actually just straight up getting destroyed. I'm gonna try to push this and one more wave. It seems like I'm collapsing on them. Could be a good move. However, they can still kill me. Oh, the trap was beautiful. 
Nice. Oh, okay. I did die, but that was very, very nice. That was huge. That was very, very nice. Luckily, I collapsed on them because I got a lot of gold from that. If I didn't do that, I, I, you know, I sure I would have pushed through it, but I was able to get the Immortal Shield Bow because I collapsed on them and got the kills with Pike. See, now I'm starting to get real hungry. Now the moment that I get really hungry is happening. Like now I'm thinking about what food I'm gonna make. Oh, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. Does he still have ultimate? Oh, he's dead, okay. He's dead. I can't really do anything either. That is zombie ward though, which at least is somewhat nice. I'm stacking up my zombie ward, but it doesn't matter too much. I'm just getting wrecked. All I can try to do is try to stop the minions from pushing in. And uh, not giving them too many. Ah, oh, they're diving me. It really has AFK. They're diving me. I'm trying to do as much damage as I can. And I'm alive. I'm actually alive. The immortal shield bow saved my ass. Somehow, some way, I survived that engage. That's crazy, actually. That I survived that. It's actually very big that I survived that. Because if they killed me there as well, yet again, giving them gold, putting me on death timer. Oh, that's, it would have been so horrible. Pike is trying to ult her. He's really trying to kill her. Look on the map. Like, Pike really wants that kill on the Kaisa. Yeah, Pantheon's taking Dragon. I think I'm not even gonna rotate. Am I gonna rotate? I'm probably just gonna keep pushing. It's like nothing I can do. What am I doing? What am I doing? Just run. Ah. Oh. Okay, nice. At least I dodged that. <gasps> yep. I'm just alone in my lane. I'm all alone. I'm getting destroyed, but I shouldn't even have rotated. I should have just stayed under my turret. To be fair, even under my turret, I would have probably died. I'm pretty sure they would have ganked me anyways and just straight up killed me. But yeah, that was uh, that was my fault. But you can see, like, what do you do in a game like this? Your teammate is AFK. You as a Caitlyn, you're losing the game. It's just not looking good for us. It's just not looking good for us. So what you do in here, you give up objectives and you try to get turrets instead. You can see my team is doing a good job here. We're giving up the Herald. We're trying to get some kills, maybe top turret or something like that. Because you're always going to lose the Herald fight. Wait, if he hooks him? Wait, now we can kill him. We can actually kill him with the Pike ult. There we go. Nice. Very, very nice. And now we can push turret. Against the Pantheon, you can put down your trap exactly where he's about to land. And you can always outplay him. So you can simply put down the trap. Whew, close. And when he ults in, he's just gonna ult into your trap. And you'll always be able to outplay him like that. Because then you can use your third ability on him as well. Hit your first ability. He's always gonna get destroyed when you when you go, when you use your trap against him when he ults. Again, trying to just push so he doesn't get turret blitz. Zombie ward. Nice. Yeah, they want to gank, so I'm just staying. Vex is here. I'm bait. Okay, Vex. Vex completely filled her ultimate, so I'm just going to go back. If she hit her ultimate, we would have killed both of them. That was a double kill right there. I really want to go back. Like, I'm probably, yeah, I'm probably just going to go back. It really has still AFK, by the way. That's kind of funny. Why is she AFK? I don't really get why she's AFK. She just gave up or what? We just need to try to get some bounties, but it's incredibly hard without a top laner. Ah, we're just grouping up in the mid lane right now. I, I like Caitlyn takes turrets quite fast and easily because you have such big range. Even if there's enemy under the turrets, you as a Caitlyn can still damage it because you have so much range. This is great. We got a bounty. That will help us a lot. Oh, oh, Aurelia's back. What? She came back and she killed Darius. How the hell is that even possible? She came back, she's super behind, but she killed the Darius. Okay, that's a good dodge. Because I dodged it, I'm stacking up lethal tempo. Okay, see, that's what I mean. That's what you can do against the Pantheon. I have lethal tempo stacked up. I'm doing a lot of damage, but I'm 
that. Yeah. Vex unfortunately missed her ult again. But Irelia somehow she comes back after like being AFK for three minutes and gets two kills. That's so funny. Don't think she can kill a thrush though. Yep. I don't even think Lee Sin can kill him. This thrush is strong. Pike can ult him? Yeah boy. This is just such a weird game. Like what a weird game. Relia goes AFK, he comes back and then he becomes some he becomes useful again. I'm getting destroyed in my lane, trying to make the best out of it. Pike is roaming around just trying to use his ultimate to get some kills. You know, like it's just it's just a very weird game. And now Irelia is trash talking as well. <laughs> I'm taking this jungle camp because it's not important for Lee Sin. And it gets me the gold that I need really. So that's why I'm taking the big fat brown guy. Oh, nice ward. Now we can actually contest the dragon. We, I would say we are strong enough. Although it would have been amazing if I could get my uh, phantom dancer, but I can't. Yeah, easy kill. He's not dead. Oh. Yeah, it really is not here, sadly. He's gonna flash. Yeah, they got the dragon. It is what it is. Yep, it is what it is. I need, uh, I need to keep running. Give up the objectives for the turrets. It's fine. What Irelia did is fine, I guess, because she got a turret. Again, that's what I told you guys. You need to get turrets for objectives. Turrets are objectives as well, but what I mean is turrets for dragons and heralds and barons and stuff like that. And not only turrets, also invade the enemy jungles. Uh, you can invade the enemy jungles and just really get yourself fed. That's what you need to do in return for these uh, objectives. I need to really try to stack my lethal temporary to maybe take a fight. Okay, there we go. I did stack it up. But I'm dead. I'm dead. Ooh. They were both very low and he just got a double kill with his ultimate. I love Pike, man. Pike is just such a broken champion, actually. Also, Pike. Pike is another example. Just so broken. It's just so stupid, this champion. Oh, Vex hit her ult. There we go. You see? If Vex hits her ultimate like that, she easily gets the kills. It's not, I mean, I guess it's not the easiest ultimate to hit, but then again, uh, she missed quite a lot. But like now she hit it and she literally just killed three people with her ultimate. It's just, it's such a, it's such a strong ultimate when you, when you do hit it. We should probably burn. I'm not really sure why he's not starting it already. Oh, oh, good catch. And you can see I'm putting down traps on top of him as well, hitting him with the traps. It's a free kill. Yep, there we go. I can hit the Baron from over the wall. In case they want to start it. But yeah, now we cannot really start it. Because Pantheon is going to ult in, so we can't start it. Yeah, and Lee Sin died. That's not good. Ooh, that's not good. I can damage the enemies from across the wall, though. Yet again, stacking Lethal Tempo right here. And now they're all dead. Boom, boom, lethal tempo is stacked, so I'm fighting. Like, here I'm fighting. Look, the lethal tempo. I can just dance around my traps if I really have to. But Pantheon shows up. Ah, oh, man. Irelia. See, now Irelia shouldn't be uh, on the top side. Now Irelia shouldn't be on the top side like that. Irelia should have been with us now. Because now we could have won the fight near, uh, next to the bear. But he committed to it. Now he needs to commit to at least get the turret. You know what I mean? Yep. At least he'll get a turret. Again, I want to show you guys these types of games as well. Remember when I told you, when I showed you the Irelia video? Again, this is a more relatable game you guys are witnessing, where you really lose lane. Like, how? what do you do? How do you play the game? What am I supposed to do now? You know what I mean? And you need to play around your lethal tempo, around your traps, 
Um, try to get as much farm as you can from the jungle, from lanes, from stuff like that. And really try to not die on cooldown. If you die on cooldown, you're just not going to be able to get anything. Because when you're dead, you're not, getting any, you're not getting any experience. And of course, you're not farming around the map either. Um, but the experience thing is the most important one, probably. To be very careful about that. You can fall behind super quickly when you die a lot. Oh, Vex hit it. I'm just gonna ult him. Okay, nice. I, like here, I'm not playing it very clean. Oh, Lee Sin pushed him in my trap. That was sick. Did you see that? Lee Sin pushed him in my trap. That was so beautiful. Of course, also works if the enemy Thresh wants to lantern an ally. Uh, lantern his ally. You can simply... Well, it's not simple. But you can put a... Uh, a la you can put a trap in between them like on the line and then th throughout the lantern you're gonna hit the enemy you're gonna hit them and they're not gonna go back to their thresh there's just so many things you can do with the traps on Caitlyn so so many things infinity is gonna increase my headshot damage as well it's a very important item stacking the lethal tempo but that at least like I did enough damage to get a kill from it as well but the Kaisa man, late game Kaisa. Oh lord, we've reached the late game Kaisa moment. Just three items. Oh, she's gonna do so much damage to us. Damn it. Third dragon. They got third dragon. Late game Kaisa. This game is not looking too good, guys. This game is not looking too hot right now. Pantheon is gonna one shot me the moment he goes on me. This is really, really not looking too hot for us right now. This game. A Pike's trying to make plays happen, but he cannot really do anything here. He's, he cannot stop them from doing Baron. They're just gonna ignore him and take Baron. Yep. Cannot do anything. They're, they're gonna take it. Oh, now we need to defend against Baron. Caitlyn is decently good at defending against Baron, by the way. Oh, look at all those traps. Oh my god. There we go. Good engage from the Vex. Huge. Damn, that Pantheon does too much damage, though. There you could see the power of the traps in a team fight again. Like even though I'm very weak in this game, my traps did a lot of work. We got we got three kills. We got three kills in that fight, and now it's a lot better. Now we don't have to deal with too much Baron power. Because we killed three of them. Like even when you're very weak, it doesn't make your CC weaker. Your traps are still huge. You can root enemies and then your teammates can do something with that. So like even when you're behind in a, in a game like I am right now, make sure you put down some nice traps for your teammates. Um, so the when the enemy walks into them, your teammates can make plays. Like when an enemy walks into a trap, my Irelia can all in him. My Pike can hook him and stun him. My Lee Sin can all in him. My Vex can ult him. You know what? Like there's so many things that can happen when I trap an enemy. Like here I closed off his path with a trap. So I had to walk the other way, easy kill. Just so many things you can do with the traps. We have very low vision as you can see. We have no idea where the hell they are at. So yeah, this, this vision plant is going to be pretty nice for us, but we still don't see them then. And in late game situations like this, oh, what a good engage. In a late game situation like this, the zombie ward becomes very useful too. It's a nice ultimate on the Yasuo too. Because you get so much extra vision from the zombie ward, just by it being in your jungle. Or in the enemy jungle, or anywhere really. Right here, I shouldn't attack the elder, I should attack the enemy. Oh my god. Pike hooked the Kai'Sa into my trap. Like you can see the traps are so annoying for the enemies to deal with. It's so funny. And she just died. And now we get an Elder Dragon for all of us. And now the game is suddenly very winnable. Very, very winnable. And I'm taking the jungle. Like this also don't leave the jungle. Whenever you can take the enemy jungle, you're stealing it away. You're farming yourself up as well. It's just, 
it's just always a win-win to take the enemy jungle. We can't really end yet, but again, their jungle is going to be up. So you can take their jungle, uh, especially the blue buff. Yep, it's up. To deny it from them and to get it ourselves. Very nice. I need to go back get that mortal reminder. That mortal reminder is a huge item. I'm greedy for farm though. I want to farm. Yeah, now the mortal reminder is going to be nice. I'll destroy the Darius in the front. I'll destroy the, the, the Thresh. Like the Thresh and the Darius. I'll demolish them with that mortal reminder now. I should have probably maybe gone for plated steel caps this game. Because the only magic damage they have is Kai'Sa. Even Kai'Sa does like partly attack damage, you know what I mean? So maybe I should have gone plated steel caps this game. I'm ulting the Thresh. Ooh, the Kai'Sa body blocked it. Okay, they inted. This is not a good moment to die. Both of them died. Pike wants to get some kills. I cancelled her, so maybe Pike can get some ultimates here. I cancelled her again. Also your second ability gives you vision, very briefly. So you can essentially put it over a wall to very, very briefly get vision and just know what's happening. You can put it in a bush as well, very briefly it's going to give you vision and then not anymore. So it can be very useful to check a bush if there's, en uh, if there's enemies in the bush or if there's enemy over a wall. You can just check it by putting down your second ability. Your traps. Yeah, they're gonna start Baron. I can bully them though. Like, I can just bully them if they start it. I can put down traps so they can't really jump on me. Okay. Oh, they got it. They got it so fast. Oh my god. Oh, it's not good that they got it. Oh... They got it so fast, though. It really cannot do anything. It really has a weak, weak late game champion. She's gonna be completely useless now, yep. No, look at that damage. Kaisa. Oh! That's ridiculous, man. Two, two second abilities got me to like zero. She even procced my, my immortal shield bow. It got me to like 10% HP. Ridiculous. Kaisa is just ridiculous. Well, she does have Baron, but still, what the hell, man? Why can't she do that? <laughs> I don't even have an immortal shield bow now. Which is so important to have. Like, you can really bait enemies with the immortal shield bow lifeline. Because they'll think they can just one-shot you, but then your immortal shield bow saves your ass. And then they're like already way too far overextended that you can kill them. You and your team can kill them. It happens so often where you can bait enemies with your immortal shield bow. Okay, lethal tempo right here. Okay, I guess it doesn't matter. Kaisa is just chunking me down like crazy. We need to one-shot this Kaisa. Like, Kaisa is just gonna demolish us. But then the problem is as well, Pantheon also one-shots us. Oh my god. Like, this game is ridiculous. But the thing is, our Vex one-shots them. So we can we can have... And, and Lee Sin does a lot of damage too. I have good sustained damage. It's just... It's whoever has a better engage wins the game, basically. Whoever has a faster and better engage wins the game. Like, if they go in with a Thresh Hook, they could win. But if we go in with a Vex Ultimate, we can win. Or a Lee Sin Kick, something like that. I need to put down Traps. Because that is also a win condition if they... Oh, that's a Vex Ult. That's, that's what we need. You see, and engage like that. I'm putting down the second ability. You see, Pantheon literally ulted right into my second ability. And now he's just dead. He actually did kill me, but... That's what I mean. When Pantheon ults, you can simply put a trap down on his ult. That's exactly what I did in the last fight. And you'll destroy him in the later stages of the game, especially. He'll ult into your root. He cannot stun anyone. And it's just game over for him. They can actually end the game. They're doing Elder instead. Hmm. 
I think they could have just ended the game straight up. I'm not really sure why they did Elder. Like, really, really not sure why they're doing Elder. They can just run them down and just win the game. And they can still... Uh, I don't know if they can end. Okay, they can. One second for Kaisa, but they'll end the game. Yep, there you go. So that's gonna be it for the video, guys. Let's take a look at how much damage I did and everything like that. So this game, I was of course playing very badly, but I was still being useful as a Caitlyn by putting down traps. You see, I put down the traps. Many, many instances where the enemies walked into the traps and we won the game. We won the game. So even if you get destroyed, don't give up. You can still... I actually did most damage. Oh, no, no, no. After the Vex, I did most damage. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this triple upload video and I will see you all in the next Wild Earth video. Bye-bye.